Hashtag right, so Mr. Fans, another anthology here. This one's from the 90s. It's called Body Bags, John Carpenter. Let's check it out. John Carpenter himself basically introduces each segment in this anthology as a morgue attendant. This one was found in a stretch of lonely highway, miles from the nearest town, on a pitch black night. This girl uh, starts the night shift at a new job. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Robert Carradine introduces yeah, her. She's startled, startled by her first customer, Wes Craven. Back at Coronado. He's also paid a visit by the American Werewolf in London himself, David Naughton. Got a really good band there on weekends. And maybe if I run into you sometime, uh, play a game of pool. And he drives off without taking his credit card. Unfortunately, she forgot to take the key with her. She gets another set of keys from the actual gas station there, so she can give George Buck Flower the key to the bathroom. When he doesn't return, she goes to check on him. He's not in there, and then she notices the truck is moving. That shouldn't be happening. She goes in the station to check on that truck and finds George Buck Flower dead. She decides to call Bill. And un unbeknownst to her, I can't come to the phone right now. So Robert Carradine is our killer. There's the real Bill, but she's able to get the upper hand. But you know he's not dead. And guess who returns for his credit card? And she's able to squish him under the hydraulic. Back to the morgue with John Carpenter. Who introduced us to the next story? Surgical procedure to restore full hair growth virtually overnight. After my Roswell hair growth treatment, I bought the company. Stacy Keach wants to be a customer. Are you worried about your hair thinning? No. That's Shima Easton. I think you look very distinguished. Why don't you let me make an appointment for you with my hairdresser? You also got your hair in nice shape. I don't need shape. I need quantity. I need volume. I need more hair. Hey, no. Hey, wait a minute. What's gotta mean? go. Hey, come on, man. I need that. I need that Richard, hair. You're in denial. What? It makes you look like the world's biggest jerk. It makes me look. He tries all kinds of miracle products. Each other. Oh, sure. Just walk out on the bald guy. Do yourself a favor, Richard. Wash your head. He tries the. I love it when he talks that way. Thing you saw on TV. You look just too sexy. That's Blondie, okay. Debbie Harry. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Richard might not be right for our treatment. A stallion look. <gasps> Should be yes. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Stallion, look at his. The next morning, not only does he have hair, he has lots of hair. <laughs> in spite of what she said, she likes it. I can't it. believe what it's done for you. Oh. Mm. 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 Maybe I'll 
overdid it last night, huh? Oh, I got this tickle. Seems like that tickle in his throat is a hair. A moving hair. Seems to be growing at a phenomenal rate and moving, moving on him. Everywhere. Someone a little past his. <laughs> Back to John Carpenter, introducing the third story. You, kid. All of a sudden, Luke Skywalker himself, out. Mark Hamill. I don't know, I'm seeing it real good. I don't want to make you nervous, but the Giants got their eye on you. Yeah, I heard that one before. They, they could use a good pinch hitter this year. Oh, his wife is played by that. Twiggy. Oh, that's great. I've got some good news, too. Boy. On his way home to his lovely wife, he takes off his seatbelt to grab a tape. Jesus. His doctor's Roger Corman. Friend, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's much worse than that. I'm afraid you have lost your right eye. What a bear. I think maybe I can help you. I've spent the last 10 years of my life developing a method to transplant an entire eye. So it's a brand new treatment or surgery. It's never been done before. Mark Hamill is the guinea pig. And his sight is back. But these weird snaps or whatever it starts to happen to him. It will be. He's not quite himself. Twiggy has some news for him when he finally comes home, too. Dad, you're going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. She's not quite ready to be intimate again yet, though. We can have sex. I just think we should wait a little till you heal better. Doctor didn't say anything about that. Would it help if I put my lens in? Is that what's bothering you? He's got one brown eye, one blue eye now. That's not a bad idea. I'm sure I'll get used to you without it, but... And then he sees this image out in the yard. He's a little more aggressive these days, a little more snippy. Why don't you take a crack and put in the work together? Because I got the backyard to work on, okay? You don't have to yell. Really? He feels compelled to go out to the garden and dig. Are they really there or is he just seeing that with his new eye? As he puts the crib together. He's ready for some passion. What? <laughs> the way you think you fit me, I believe it. Oh, Brad, I, I, I didn't supposed to see you this afternoon. What have you done to me? Well, it's good. For a man, a man who died. How did he die? He was executed. He, he died in the gas chamber. Well, it turns out his eye comes from John Randall, a serial killer. Randall had a tenant. Get rid of the bodies in his kitchen garbage disposal. You're gonna, I need to talk to you. Hey, I have to finish digging your grave. John Randall. He cut him up. You see? John will like you. I have a 
mind's eye, you know. I see what John Randall saw. But he doesn't kill her. Back to John Carpenter in the morgue, and the reason he doesn't look too well is he's a corpse, too. The movie ends with Toby Hooper and uh, Tom Arnold, the morgue attendants, doing their thing. All right, let's talk about John Carpenter's Body Bags, an anthology show movie that was uh, originally broadcast on Showtime, and that's where I originally saw it. In fact, I taped it uh, at the time on uh, VHS tape, uh, 1993. I think I taped it the night it premiered, actually. So I watched it, and I hadn't seen it since until today, actually. I remembered really nothing about it other than uh, Mark Hamill and Twiggy were doing it on a bed. That's literally the only thing I remembered about this movie, and I don't even know why I remembered that. But anyway, so there you go. So Body Bags, it's an anthology. It's introduced by John Carpenter. He's like a, in a morgue. And uh, he's uh, clearly a little weird. And he introduces each story, basically. The first one is about this woman who's uh, starting a new job at a gas station, like Midnight Shift, or the third shift. Uh, features uh, David Naughton, uh, Robert Carradine, um, George Buck Flowers in that as well. And um, it's basically she gets attacked by a serial killer that night. Uh, and it turns out the serial killer is the guy who introduced her to the job, Robert Carradine. Uh, it turns out Robert Carradine had killed the other guy, he, Robert Kennedy really wasn't a worker there, but Sam Raby, by the way, was the guy in the closet whose body we saw fall out there. So anyway, she ends up killing him uh, by crushing him in the truck hydraulic press thing or whatever the hell you call that thing. Um, and then the second story is uh, about Stacy Keach. He's uh, losing his hair. He wants to grow new hair, so he goes to David Warner's place, um, who owns his hair treatment place. Uh, Blondie, Deborah Harry, is his assistant. And uh, his girlfriend, by the way, is Sheena Easton, a pop singer from the 80s also. Anyway, he takes this experimental thing. The next day, he has a full head of hair. He can't believe how great it is. But his hair starts growing and growing and growing in weird places, like in his mouth and stuff. Turns out these hairs are almost like tiny little snakes. Uh, they're actually an alien species uh, that uh, has come down to Earth, and they're feeding off the human brains. That's what happens. He goes back to David Warner, and then David Warner basically zaps him, and then he's going to be, I guess, cut up for food or something. I don't know. Anyway, the third story, uh, Mark Hamill and Twiggy, it's about uh, Mark Hamill's eye. He's a baseball player. He loses his right eye in a car accident, tries an experimental procedure to get a new eye. It's an eye transplant. However, the eye comes from a serial killer, which he doesn't know. And, of course, he starts seeing some of the things the serial killer saw. He starts acting aggressively. Um... And eventually he goes after his wife, Twiggy, and tries to kill her. Um, it turns out he's uh, kind of almost possessed by John Randall, this serial killer who uh, killed people with garden shears. And he's going after his wife at one point, but then at the last moment he decides to stab himself in the eye with the shears, kills himself, and that's how that one ends. Cut back to John Carpenter in the morgue. It turns out John Carpenter is also a corpse. He hops back in a body bag, zips up, and then uh, Tom Arnold and Toby Hooper come to uh, as morgue attendants to... Uh, cut them up or do whatever they're going to do. I don't know. But anyway, that's how the movie ends. So that is Body Bag. So anyway, I enjoyed this movie. I, like I said, I hadn't seen this movie in 27, 28 years, so it's been a very long time. Um, but it's a nice little anthology, a little bit of nudity here and there, uh, some decent gore scenes in there, that's for sure. Um, I hadn't seen a whole lot of Mark Hamill beyond Star Wars. He does a lot of cartoon work, so I remember when I saw it at the time, I thought that was kind of cool. He has a naked butt in this movie too, by the way. If you ever wanted to see Luke Skywalker naked, this is it. But yeah, a lot of nice cameos from directors and actors and all kinds of things. So that was kind of cool seeing that as well. So anyway, that is it. Uh, this Blu-ray here comes out from Screen Factory. Audio commentary with John Carpenter, Robert Carradine, uh, Stacey Keach, and uh, oh, no Mark Hamill though. But there is a featurette and all kinds of other goodies. So anyway, that's it. I'll leave a link to this if you're looking to buy it, and you should get it because it's a pretty cool one. Check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about body bags. Watch it. Bye.